Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Feminine by Design channel. Per usual, I usually don't speak too long. I wanted to address the, the Divine Feminine Collective and just say that um, over in our uh, Facebook community, we've been discussing um, issues of strength and self-worth and um, just basically showing up. And this is not a new concept. I mean, I pretty much had this be a repetitive topic throughout um, throughout the feminine de by design. It's either it's on my Facebook community, which you can go and check out, and it's also out here. And so I kind of wanted to speak on it in reference to um, strength, and that being maybe a spiritual strength. And I don't know what other people's backgrounds are, whether it's Christian background, Muslim, it really, um, any, any background, it really doesn't matter. Um, I guess what it comes down to is just believing that there's something greater than yourself. And it, in my mind, that is the platform from which I speak and where my power, I believe, comes from in my ability to manifest. And so whatever you want to call it, universe, source, whatever, I feel like if you um, align yourself to that source, the possibilities are endless. Um, I really enjoyed um, covering strength because I think that um, when people think of strength, a lot of times they think of um, physical strength. And what's so beautiful with the divine feminine, um, it's not really so much about physical strength. It's about the strength that you hold in character and about um, maintaining peace while um, chaos surrounds you, being able to have an emotional control. Um, because I know that in life, a lot of us, a lot of divine feminines stand in the gap between um, people in our lives, um, people who are coming to us for whatever reason, stranger or loved one, that may come to us in regard to problems that they're having or issues. And many times you don't have the luxury of going with, going with them emotionally, taking that emotional journey with them, because if you do, then nothing gets solved, right? Your strength lies in being able to remind, remain calm within the storm, correct? And so, uh, I mean, I know that a lot of you probably have a background in Christianity. And so you may be familiar with the story of the storm when Jesus slept, you know, and um, that's just kind of a, a parable that you may be able to align with and see yourself within that. And I, and I speak just from that because I just want people to be able to have the ability to feel proud about how far far they've come and not necessarily comparing themselves to um, maybe what society views as strength. We have a silent strength a lot of time. A lot of time um, people may not even realize it until maybe you're not with them anymore or they may not real say, say for instance, and I just because I'm a mother, um, I can go from that. Uh, and my children may not have recognized my silent strength until they started to get out on their own. And 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 in just in reference, I've been gone for the last uh, few weeks, I guess. Um, it's been a minute since I made a recording and um, we've had a lot of family things going on. I had my son uh, graduate um, from boot camp with the, the military and um, my daughter's making her adjustments still. She's a flight attendant. And she lives a little ways away from me, about four hours. And then um, my youngest son uh, just obtained, um, just finished up with his driver's education. I had my mother visiting for a few weeks. And so we flew out to San Diego to celebrate uh, my son graduating, like I said, back in the end of May. So uh, June has been, a, <laughs> June was a very, a uh, hectic and chaotic month, just simply for the fact that you're dealing with a lot of different energies. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of time, I think we take that for granted. And um, 
I did. I had to step back into my strength and in a lot of that, you know, and um, realize that the the things that I have come to and the growth that I have made have made it, the ability for me to handle a lot of different emotional um, levels from different people, um, accepting people for where they're at, enjoying things within the moment. And that's another strength, right? For you but to be able to remain in the moment, to be in the now, because your power is in the now. Your memories will be in the now. And if you're constantly thinking about what's next, what do you got to do, what your list is, then you're not going to be able to enjoy that. My mother is 74 years old. She made a big trip down here to make sure that she was a part of the graduation. First of all, she made a uh, <laughs> she made a huge because she came not only she came from up north. I'm down south in, in Dallas, and she came down here, and then we flew to San Diego. So like these were <laughs> sort of monumental moves we were making, you know. And um, I had her and um, my son's father. I had my my daughter, and I had my youngest son. And we were all just trying to make sure that we made that happen, right? We were on a military base, so everybody was getting up at the <laughs> at the crack, making sure we could be a part of all the festivities and everything. So, I mean, I just want to say I was so proud of me and I was so proud of my family because, you know, sometimes you just take for granted the silent strength. And I just want you guys to, if who's ever watching and if, I hope that a lot of people get an opportunity to see this because I want women to understand that those that ability to be collaborative and your ability to be cooperative and communicative and understanding the needs of other people while you also take care of yourself first and foremost um, is it's vital. It's vital. And um, I don't think anyone should take it for granted. I don't, I feel like we're, we're out here and we're growing. Women are, um, women are coming forward. Not that this is a new thing. I mean, women have been in the workforce. Women are um, everywhere, right? Like they're everywhere in every walk of life doing anything that they, they choose to do right now. But I think what it fundamentally comes back to is realizing that our strength is not necessarily the strength of the masculine. And that's okay. It takes two, right? So I just, um, I wanted to get on and say that I didn't um, have an agenda. Now, normally I am a big planner, big list maker, but, you know, I felt like spirit was just telling me to come out here and speak from the hip, you know, and, um, feels pretty good. It's a little nerve wracking because like I said, I like to have things aligned. I like to have things, you know, it's going to, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to say that. And I want to make sure that I cover that. And there may be things that um, once I click off then I'll be like, oh, I wish I would have said that. And I don't know if my lighting is very good or whatever, but I, I might have things that I said, oh, well, I wish I would have said that or, you know, but there's time and a place for everything. Let me kind of adjust adjust this. I would love, I would love, love, love for um, someone to put, click, for the people that are watching to click like, click share, comment. I mean, especially comment. If you, if you would comment, that really helps um, the algorithm. And for more people to be able to see the, this, you know, I'm really trying to build this channel because I believe in um, that we are in a monumental time right now. We are in the time of the divine feminine era. Um, and like I've mentioned in some of my other other videos, um, we've been dealing with the distorted masculine um, identity within society. And I feel like there has to be a balancing. And I feel like that's where we get to show up. That's where we get to um, lead. That's where we get to interject with the silent strength. You know, um, not even just silent, but part of that is that being able to hear someone else out and um, 
you know, just having the compassion to understand where someone might be coming from and not always being in a com competitive mode, maybe more so about collaboration and cooperation and understanding that a lot can get done when we work together instead of being so individualistic, you know, well, that was a big word, but um, yeah, I feel like um, the divine feminine error is something that uh, you don't have to be just a feminine to to grab a hold of this. This is a movement, and I and I'm proud to be a part of it. And I and I realize what's going on, and I'd like to believe. I think that I am a part of that trailblazing because the path isn't direct. It's not. Um, it's being carved out as we speak, and there's a lot of women at the forefront of it because they actually hone into it. And I'm not saying that men don't. They, they have that because it's, it's inherent in all of us, right? Uh, masculine and feminine, yin, yang, you know, it's, it's there. But like I said, I just wanted to come on and say that because I'm, I'm, um, I'm reviewing what's happened over the last few weeks. And I'm seeing that the growth that I've made over the course of the, especially in the last year has been evident in the way that I nurture myself and the way that I take care of myself when dealing with others, still making sure that I'm, um, you know, uh, expressing myself, uh, uh, making sure that my boundaries are intact, that I can still um, give love without depleting myself, you know, and um, so, yeah, I'm, and I just want to say, you know, I'm, I'm out here and I, I'm exposing myself and I'm being vulnerable. But at the same time, I'm in this growth process. I mean, I am growing exponentially, exponentially. <laughs> and I'm I'm excited because I'm seeing the fruits of the labor that I've that I've done, you know. And um, yeah, so just wanted to get out here, like I said, say those few things. Know that I'm still here. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to be working on next, but I'm turning my attention always within the feminine design feminine um divine feminine but um i think what, what might be more helpful because like i said in in the facebook community i'd like to do it in in topics or cons uh ideas right so maybe a week we might be working on worth you know or um you know, just being like showing up. That was a big thing for the last few weeks or whatever. It's been about showing up. And uh, I have a, I have a, a friend actually, because we become friends through our Facebook affiliations and she has a Rise Up and Bloom uh, Facebook uh, channel or excuse me, Facebook page. Plus she has a YouTube channel out here. And um, I was talking about showing up and then I seen that she had been working on something like that, too. And it just made me feel like, OK, so there is um, some cohesion. There is an alignment going on. People are coming across the same kind of ideals. And if that's something that you feel called to, if you see yourself showing up, then just know that if you show up for yourself, then you're giving other people permission to show up for their self. And like that, like I said, um, showing up has been a big thing um in the facebook community as well as being feeling worthy of that you know feeling worthy to shine your light tell your story knowing that maybe your story or your struggle or your obstacles and the way that you may have come across um solving some of those issues for yourself may help someone else um with that being said uh I don't have anything else that I really wanted to get out, but I feel like I, I just wanted to be uh, unscripted <laughs> and just come out and, and speak for a moment. Thanks for listening. Bye.